Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Titi and I film about food, beauty and lifestyle from Limbe Cameroon. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my minimalist kitchen setup and how to store ingredients and food stuff in your kitchen. The tips I'm going to be showing you are going to simplify your kitchen experience. They're going to prevent rats and insects from getting into your food stuff and also help you to monitor and control the quantity of your food stuff in order to know when to replenish them. So if you want to prevent rats from getting into your food stuff, if you want to prevent your food stuff from rotting, keep watching. So let me begin, let me begin by giving a quick tour of the kitchen. Right here I have my fridge. This is my fridge. If you're making noise in the background. Here we have our wedding sticker here. And this is a table. I have a table here and this little setup which I'm going to get back to. Here, a water boiler, a chair. I just use this to rest my back while I'm walking. My sink, of course. My cutlery holder, plates and some bowls, glasses, some random stuff there. And here, another set for set up for my bowls and plates and things that cannot fit into the play rack. Right here, I have my cooker, my cooker here, and then my pots, some pots and pans and chopboard up there. And then here, I have like these bags where I store plastic bags because here in Cameroon, plastic bags are very, very complicated. Like you practically have to buy plastic bags sometimes when you go to certain places. So I store up my plastic bags in this little wine wine bag or wine holder bag, something like that. Yeah, so my wooden spatula here. Yeah, and that's it. And then I have some other food stuff up here. Yeah. So coming back to this little setup, the first thing I'd like to show you is how, to, how I store my dried ingredients so that they are easily reachable for me. You can see right here I have pepper soup spice, bongo spice, anivere, soya spice, all labeled up. See that? I have here pepper and some other random spices down. My salt and seasoning, country onion, white pepper and here i have jansa so the, the the whole idea of storing ingredients like this is just to make sure that the ingredients just make sure that the ingredients are easily reachable while you're cooking there are some people who don't like cooking broth because you have to prepare ingredients and all of that so if you're one of those kind of persons you can make your ingredients already prepared this way so that you don't have to go through the stress of grinding and you know all that stress that comes with preparing ingredients for cooking yeah so another thing i would like to show you guys is how i store up my rice dry stuff like rice i have rice here gary here beans here some onion in here see this basket has worked that's worked for its money so it's, it's already torn and in here I have some flour here also I have granules both peeled and unpeeled peeled granules for granite soup here and unpeeled granules for ndole up there and then some palm oil I don't know how else I can preserve palm oil is it okay to preserve in these bottles please let me know leave your comments in the comment section let's share ideas and and so on yeah so Storing up ingredients like this, it helps you not to lose your, your, your dry stuff because I had an issue when I just moved in into this house. I used to store up my dry stuff in plastics like I'll keep the gary in a plastic bag, keep the beans in a plastic bag and then keep the other items in a plastic bag and I used to have weevils get in all the time. I used to have like the things just used to get bad. So for some time I lost I lost the, 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 the things I used to buy, I lost my beans, I lost my gary, it will get fermented and so on and so forth. I have crayfish here also, I've got to show you guys crayfish, I have crayfish here also. 
stored in that and then here some random things salt maggie extra salt and maggie and so on yeah so i used to lose things a lot so i decided to get this storage containers and put the things into the storage containers so now i have it stored up like this and this way it lasts for as long as possible it lasts for as long as possible it's easy to reach you can easily see the quantity that's left and so on and so forth yeah so so right here also i have this old basket in which i actually it was it used to be my vegetable sieve I have this old basket in which I store my onions and the reason why I chose to store the onions in this basket is because store I realized that storing onions in a closed pan usually makes the onions to get rotten quickly so I decided to store it in here because it's porous and air can get into it and you know the onions can breathe and they not get bad they not get rotten easily yeah so that's one way in which you can store your onions if you have a basket you can use a basket, a, wo a woven basket, or you can use a plastic ba basket like this. Yeah. And then for my granites, I decided to store them in this plastic pan because it's transparent. It can prevent weevils. It's closed. Yeah, the, co the cover. It's closed. So you can, you can, it, weevils don't get into it. Yeah, so weevils don't get into it. And my palm oil stays in this bottle. So like I said, please leave your comments in the comment section how do you think we can store palm oil is it okay to leave it in this box so is it okay to how do you think we can store palm oil please let me know in the comment section yeah so that's it for my little tips i thought to share with you guys so with that we have come to the end of this video thanks for watching please let me know how you store food in your kitchen and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe leave your comments in the comment section let's share let's interact until next time bye